Hey guys. Um, okay, so we are in the last section of the second hour of week four. So we're actually in section three. And um, I want us to talk about um, what's our lesson focus for this last section. Um, uh, our lesson focus is going to be uh, simple present, simple present with yes and no questions and answers with have. Okay. So we're, you know, um, I know that we, when we were looking at the page that has, that had the doctor's questions, you know, um, we talked about, you know, do you have, uh, does he have, does she have? So let's talk a little bit about some of the health problems, right? We've already looked at the present, the simple present of to have, right? And so um, the simple present of to have, I should probably move this up here. Simple present of to have is I have, you have, he has, she has, it has, we have, they have. Okay, now let's talk about the simple present of do. Okay, because when we ask someone, if you have to ask your child what's wrong, or if the doctor asks you, wants to ask you what's wrong, they will use the verb do as a helping verb with have. Okay, so do helps have. So we're going to do the simple present of do when do helps have. And then also um, when you answer the question, you actually actually answer the question with do. So answer with a form of do. You do not answer with the form of have. Weird how that works, but we will talk about that in just a second. So what is the simple present form of do? So it's I do, you do, he does. This is in the positive. She does, it does, we do, and they do. That's if the answer is yes, right? If the answer is yes, it's do. If the answer is no, the answer is no, Just one second for me. Okay, if the answer is no, then it's I do not, which we shorten to what? I don't, okay? Okay, so I just kind of wanted to go through that without you guys sitting through me, going through all of that. So I do not or I don't, you don't, he does not, but the short is he doesn't, she doesn't, it doesn't, and we don't, and they don't, okay? So what are some health problems we've talked about? Backache, a cough, a headache, you know, we've kind of gone through all of those, some of those, um, some of those illnesses, let me move this down. Okay, and the doctor is going to ask, you know, a yes or no question. A yes or no question can be one of the easiest ways for the doctor to get information from you because if you're not feeling well, you don't want to talk a lot, right? So the doctor might say, do you have... 
a backache? Do you have a cough? Do you have a headache? Do you have a sore throat? Do you have a runny nose? Right? So the, the, uh, or if they're talking about your child or someone who's with you, does he have or does she have? And the answer is where we get a little tricky. So we're gonna, that's, we're going to turn over to page 48. So go ahead and turn over to page 48 in your student book. And this is what it looks like. So these are our yes or no questions with have. Okay. These are our yes or no questions with have. And I am not going to try to show you the video <laughs> this time. Um, maybe I'll give it a shot one more time. Let's see. Okay, I think maybe we might get it to work this time. So hopefully you guys can hear this okay. And let's go ahead and watch this video. Questions with have. Unit four, lesson C. Do you have a cold? Watch and listen. Do I have a fever? No, you don't. Do you have a cold? Yes, I do. Does he have a cough? Yes, he does. Does she have a sprained ankle? No, she doesn't. Don't is short for do not. Doesn't, short for does not. Check your understanding. Look at the picture. Ask the question. Do I have a fever? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. Do I have a fever? No, you don't. Look at the picture. Ask the question. Do you have a cold? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. Do you have a cold? Yes, I do. Look at the picture. Ask the question. Does he have a cough? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. Does he have a cough? Yes, he does. Look at the picture. Ask the question. Does she have a sprained ankle? Listen to the question. Look at the picture. Answer the question. Does she have a sprained ankle? No, she doesn't. Let's review. Do I have a fever? Yes, you do. No, you don't. Do you have a fever? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Does he have a fever? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does she have a fever? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. Don't is short for do not. Doesn't is short for does not. Okay, so hopefully that comes across and you guys were able to hear that. But this is really the same page that we're looking at in this book right here. Um, the way you saw the video in the other book, I'm sorry, the way you saw the phrase is in the other book is how it looks in the third edition. But this is how it looks in the second edition. And you can see here, do, 
You use do with the first person I and the second person you, singular. You use does with the third person he and she. Okay. And then as I showed you guys here, you also use do with the plural first and third person. Okay. Second person, uh, singular or plural is the exact same thing. All right. So um, you can see here, how do we formulate the question? It's do plus the subject. So the subject can be I, do I. The subject can be you, do you. The subject can be Maria. And if it's Maria, it's a she. So it would be does Maria, does she. Okay. Um, then the next part of this yes or no question is do plus subject plus have plus, you know, whatever the ailment or illness is. Does she have a fever? Do you have a cold? And so that's the formula for the question. And then the formula for the answer is yes, plus the subject plus do, or no, plus the subject plus do not or does not. Okay, don't or doesn't. Okay, um, so let's go ahead and look at page 48. And if you want to go ahead and pause the video, we are going to do exercise 2A. And exercise 2A says you need to use do. So you're going to complete the sentences, first of all, complete the sentences. And you're going to use do, does, don't, or doesn't. Do, does, don't, or doesn't. And you're going to answer these six questions. If you have the third edition, you actually have eight questions, but that's okay. All right. So go ahead and pause the video, answer the questions, and then when you come back, we will go over the answers. Okay. So I'm guessing that you're back after pausing the video and you want to, we are going to go over these questions and you can see right here, this is for number one. So this person is person one. Number two is for number two. Number three is for number three. Number four is for number four. Five is for number five. And six is for number six. So let's go ahead and talk about each one. And number one, repeat after me. Do I have a fever? Do I have a fever? No, you don't. So she's got, she's taking his temperature and she can see that he does not have a fever. Do you have a fever? No, you don't. Number two, does she have a sore throat? Well, what's she doing here? She's holding her ear. Is she holding her throat? No. So does she have a sore throat? No, she doesn't. Okay. No, she doesn't. Number three, this guy right here. Does he have a cough? Does he have a cough? You can see his hand is over his mouth and there's, he's doing something. So it looks like he's coughing. So the answer would be, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Now these two people are talking and he's got a tissue right here by his nose and she is asking him a question. So she asks him, do you have a cold? Do you have a cold? And he would answer because he's got a runny nose. He would say, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Number five, does she have the flu? Does she have the flu? She's laying down. She's tired. 
She looks miserable. She does not look happy at all. So I would say, yes, she does. Yes, she does. And the last one, number six. Does she have a sprained ankle? Does she have a sprained ankle? Well, she's in the nurse's office and she's sitting here holding her ankle. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yes, she does. Yes, she does. Yes, she has a sprained ankle. Okay, all right. Very good. So um, I wanted us to be able to kind of look at the pictures, the same picture right here, but um, our answers are, no, you don't for number one. Do you have a fever? No, you don't. Number two, does she have a sore throat? No, she doesn't. Number three, does he have a cough? Yes, he does. Number four, do you have a cold? Yes, I do. Number five, does she have the flu? Yes, she does. Number six, does she have a sprained ankle? Yes, she does. Okay. I'm here. And a comma here also. Okay. Okay. All right. So before we wrap up this lesson, um, if you have any questions about this lesson, please ask the questions in the comment section of the YouTube video. You can write the question like, it's Joanne. Uh, or you can say, I don't understand. I don't understand. Or if you need to know what a word means, you can say, what does uh, prescription <laughs> mean? Okay. These are ways that you can ask me questions in the YouTube video. Um, for homework, I would like you guys to go over um, page, the beginning of uh, unit four pages 42 and 43. This is what it will look like. So I want you to go ahead and do pages 42 and 43 for your homework in your um, student workbook. And, uh, you know, we will go ahead and go over this the next, in the next week's lessons okay uh if you guys don't have any questions or if you i'm sorry if you have questions please ask me those questions in the comment section make sure you send me any text messages or questions that you have about your work and um we'll go from there so have a great week and um see you next time bye